I'd like to welcome you all to Grove at Grand Bay and Coconut Grove, a very special place in South Florida. I'd like to thank The Real Deal for putting on a great event and really showing the great things that are happening in real estate in Miami and South Florida. I'd like to thank our panelists today, Bjarke Ingalls, an amazing architect, Chad Oppenheim, amazing architect, Esther Perkow, amazing broker, and, and Mayi from Sotheby's a great broker as well. And I'd also like to recognize Alicia Cervera at Cervera Real Estate, uh, who's been working with me and my family for so many years. Architecture is almost like a form of portraiture. That, uh, you know, the beauty of uh, an art, a portrait by an artist is in, of course, in the artist's capacity to express him or herself as an artist, but pe perhaps more importantly, in capturing and expressing the, not only the physical appearance of the subject, mm -hmm. but even the character, the personality, uh, you know, the soul, if you like, of the person being portrayed. I think that architecture is really almost 95% client. They're responsible for seeing through your vision and really, um, it's like, you know, you give them your baby and they're, they're raising it and, and, and growing it. And, and it's really important to have the client committed to the project. You also had the vision and the commitment to not only deliver a product that was beautiful on the outside, but the finishes and the selection, and it was very well thought through. So it goes, it's not only creating a beautiful object on the outside, which sometimes you design, you know, unless they're really involved in the interior spaces, you've got to really have the developer with the commitment to ensure that that product gets built according to the specification. In Miami today, the level of sophistication of the buyer and we're still very inexpensive compared to where most of these people come from. Um, you have to deliver a good product. I mean, those days of, you know, selling anything for anything are gone. Miami has always been the sixth borough of New York. I was talking to Ron Sheffield, who's everybody here knows, and he was telling me that this year there's been a 60% increase in number of uh, New Yorkers who are buying down in Miami. One of the market leaders when it comes to information about what's going on in the South Florida residential market. What, what jumped out at you from tonight's panel discussion? Well, I think the fact that more and more people are realizing how these top buildings now are getting worldwide attention. You know, when you travel to places like Barcelona where they built this fabulous architecture 100 years ago, and then you look at what we're building today, and the fact that the whole world is recognizing that this is something really cool and new and different. I mean, these buildings are going to make a statement for another 100 years. What's the biggest takeaway from this whole discussion about star architecture and the impact on the market in these projects that we're seeing? I, I, the thing I took uh, with me is the fact that the star architects uh, bring up the price per foot on a condominium project. But I think what David Martin said that the second component is even if you have a star architect, the product's got to conform to the market it's in. That to me is the most important takeaway. Amir, explain why The Real Deal is ramping up its presence in South Florida and really what, what the mission is. Well, South Florida has always been considered the sixth borough of New York City. And uh, you know now you have more and more uh, New York buyers coming to uh, South Florida ever since the recession ended. Uh, you know, it was for a period it was all Latin money and European money, and now you got those that snowbird money coming back to South Florida. And we've been here for since 2008, just to be on the record. Uh, but people are noticing it a lot more now because there's a lot more activity happening now, and because you know we have people like you reporting the news, so that helps too.